<laughs> I'm just messing you up every, every which way I can. My race is 8-5. 8-5, yeah. There's only 60 points. No, he's a 4 All right, we are live. Kicking off the first round here. GQ Billiard Store Diamond Pool Tour. Stop three. We are at Pockets in Tucson, Arizona. Getting started with Rick Schmitz and Jesse Johnson. I'll find out in just a moment what the race is. Chucky, what's the race here? 8-8. All right, we got an 8-8 race here. Handicap is one game for every 25 Fargo points. So they are within 25 points of each other. Rick breaks. Dry. And he's awfully happy that six is there. I don't know that Jesse would have fired that combo in, but... We're probably playing safe here. Left him a shot. I'm not sure if it's one he wants to take on. I'm not sure how he'd get back to the two. No. Well, that was that was really the first opportunity somebody had for offense, and Jesse didn't get there. I think he likes the one, but again, trying to get back for the two. That was one way to do it. Not sure it was the way he had in mind. We had to get a relationship for three and a half years and stop playing pool and all competitiveness and everything. Not hard enough. I think it was really more a case of not enough spin. He went for the ball there. Rick's first real opportunity to get anything going. He overstroked that. I guess he could cut the four on the side and try to come between the, the five eight. He didn't get there. Sure, Jesse knows this safety. That would be the one. Unless you make the five. That went from big advantage Jesse to big advantage Rick. Good hit. He got separation. And left a wired combo. I think Rick's got to go for the combo. And it's 1 0, Rick Schmitz. All right, it's a race to eight. 
Uh, nine ball. Nine ball counts at any time other than the break. We're using wooden racks, no magic rack here. It's a thousand added event today. It's a 500 added open event. Uh, the cutoff for an open and an amateur event being uh, Fargo 625. 625 and below can play in the amateur. Broke that open real nice. I think the biggest problem might be the seven ball. Well, two to the three could get a little funny, but with ball in hand on the one, he should be able to put it in you know, exactly where he needs to get on the two. He's gonna opt for straight draw. Does not want to get straight in. Three balls close enough to the pocket that he, I don't know if he wanted to be that straight. Look outside pocket. Oh, he got real nice there. He got past the first obstacle. Next should be where's he going to get on the seven ball? With where the five's at, getting on the six should be easy, but I think he'd kind of like to be past the line to the pocket. Otherwise, he's going to risk running into the nine ball here. And I don't think that six goes. Let's look. No, the six doesn't go in the other corner. Well, at least it doesn't look like it goes from here. Maybe fire in the combo. Oh, yeah. He kind of. That was kind of a jerky stroke that he put on that ball. I don't know if he was uncomfortable with the distance or what. And he wasn't going to like the seven if he, even if he'd have made the six there. I'm not in love with the seven ball. He made it like it was nothing. We should be 1-1 one, one here momentarily. And that's just about perfect. got a kind of a small field today, 25 players. We're out in Tucson. This was basically an event to uh, give the Tucson players the opportunity to qualify for the finale. Uh, there's a lot going on in Phoenix this weekend. There's a lot going on in Phoenix every weekend. Proximity to Vegas. Right, Jesse to break. He's getting a lot of that ball, but he's sure not. Just seems like bad luck so far. Hello. Hello. That was a nice shot there. He deserved better than that. Mm -hmm. 
he might be able to go rail first on this. It looks like the cue ball is just past the halfway mark on the eight, making it an even tougher shot. He's going to try it. Well, he was able to get a lot farther behind that ball than I thought he could. Jesse knows he can come behind the ball, one rail. He'd like to get under it so it doesn't run into the three or the four. And have something like that happen. I was worried you would hit it and leave the two right there for Rick, but this might be even worse. I liked the idea, he just got too much of the two ball. safety from Rick there. I didn't expect that. I thought he'd go for the shot. I thought he had the two in the side. Jesse's not going to like that. As hard as he hit it, though, I'm not sure there was any kind of reward he could get. Nice shot there from Rick to get around that seven ball. And again, he's, he's deserving a lot better than he's getting here. Not gonna get a rail. All right, this is again no piece of cake. Um, you know, Jesse's got ball in hand to kick things off, but five six is a little ugly, and then he's got to get back up table for the seven. Shooting the four, gonna try to run the cue ball between the five six. Touchy little shot. He got there, but he didn't want to be jacked up on the six ball. He had really nice speed control on that. Mm, not on a diamond. Looked good there till the end. The only thing stopping Rick here should be the six to the seven. Or overstroking the five. Well, that may be enough here. I think he can avoid the step. No, he's trying. No, he can't be trying to run into the nine. I, I don't understand that at all. He intentionally ran into the nine, but he didn't have anywhere near the angle to get back up table. And he hit that way too hard. Where's the seven ball going? 
What do you do? The amateurs. You're jumping in? I'll say hi. All right. Brought in the A team. I get to sit in here with Mike Howerton. Watch uh, Rick Schmitz and Jesse Johnson play some nine ball. Race to eight? They're both racing to eight? Yeah. Even. That's an even match, an even race, finally. <laughs> What's the score so far? One one. one apiece. Rick's okay. gotten some, a couple bad rolls. Uh -huh. Make a nice shot, and the ball rolls just an inch too far, puts him behind another ball. Mm. So he's so Jesse's missed well. Well, Rick will make a ball, and, and he'll get he'll get a little funny. Uh, well, Rick's Rick's position isn't always the best. He likes to play a lot of safeties. He won't shoot at anything he doesn't think he's sure to make. This is going to work out pretty good behind the nine. Almost behind the nine. I think it's a little early in the day. Both of them are trying to see how they're playing today. Early in the day? Well, for yeah. a pool player. For a pool player. Yeah. For me, it's already late afternoon. <laughs> you get out of bed at what time? About 5.36. <laughs> and you're retired. Yes. <laughs> no I didn't say I was smart. You that you I didn't say I was smart. Early? Uh, internal clock. Yeah. Nice so, shot on that table over there. Yeah. So we had how many players? 20, 25. 25 players. That other Two table we're talking about, uh, that Eduardo Duarte, that, that kid can play some. I just saw a couple of good That's shots. Esteban, sorry, Ed, Esteban, not Eduardo. I saw a couple of good shots. Playing Brian Long. Yeah. What's the race over there, Chuck? 8-5. 8-5. That could go either way. Oh, Ryan's giving him uh, three games on the wire? Yeah. Wow. Oh, Rick. Well, they're playing They're playing around with the seven bus. What, the third shot each have had to add it? Three shots apiece at the seven wall. I'd cut the right side of it and put him, try and put him behind the eight. Got two rails behind the eight. No spin at all. Oh, what's he doing? Just leaving him short. Natural bank shot. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that safety. If you let your opponent keep trying to bank the ball, then they're eventually going to. Well, you're eventually going to make it. But the one thing about leaving this safety is, if he tries to make it, more than likely he hangs it up and you're straight in. You got three ball out. But you're risking. You know, you're risking a lot. And th this. I tell you, Rick will not shoot at a shot unless he's sure to make it. He'll leave you a little off-angle safety like that. Well, and, it's, it, it, and for playing players in the 570 range, 580 range, that's perfect. Sure. You get to stop players, you're going to get beat with that shot. So it's smart play on his part. Now, is this... Is this makeable enough that he's going to go for it? No. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. Oh no. But see, he won't. He won't go for shots. He just he plays that safety. And it, he's making a, a good safety shot. He's making as good of a shot for a safety as he would for the shot. What, what was he's going to go too far. He's going to get behind the nine. Man, he overstrokes that by a mile. Oh no. Oh, it's an easy kick shot. Anybody kicks this in, right? They, they the other way. contacted, but you got to kick to make this ball the long rail because you you, you're kicking it to open space. So you got to. Ra I'd rather kick long rail at it than kick short rail at it. <laughs> nice hit. Oh, and he's going to get at a this. good leave Look out at of this. it. Is that what you were talking about? His rolls? Kind Actually, of? it was the other way around. Okay. Rick could make a ball, and, and he'd he'd hook himself. Now, how, how big a win is this if Rick can win this game after Jesse pretty much had a Cosmo there from, you know, those three balls? Mm-hmm. going to, oh, Ball now hand. he really has a Cosmo. Yeah, made contact. Okay, it's pretty simple out here. Oh, yeah.
That was what, they both shot at the seven ball four times, four to five times a piece. Wow. It's early. It is early. It's one to one, so now it's two to one. Yeah. Race to eight, eight. you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How have the other uh, events gone? Uh, um, more, more participation, of course, because you only have 25 here. Yeah. The idea behind it was, well, there were a couple different things that we were trying to solve. Uh, the first one being the lower rated players all coming in and paying their entry fees and all that entry fee money going to the top players who were basically just robbing it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we, we broke up the payouts so that it was, you know, the B players were getting half the payouts. If, if we were paying eight spots, four of them would be B players, but still, it, third place, fifth place, two seven. Mm -hmm. it just it didn't seem right, especially with all the competition that tournaments have in Phoenix. You know, there's there's two scotch tournaments going on back right, in Phoenix, right, right. there's a one-pocket event back in Phoenix. Well, don't you think that is what's hurting this tour more than anything else? is the availability of so many other tournaments for those guys to play in. Which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but it's no. a bad thing for your tour. Sure. You got a brutal role there. And I mean, who who wants to stand up and say there's too many tournaments for people to play in? I mean, that's a great thing for the players. That's what I'm saying. It, yeah. it, it's, it's not a bad thing for, the, for, for Phoenix. It's just a bad thing for this tour. Right. I'm looking at that... Uh, Five nine. Five nine. You can see it on the screen here. It, it does, doesn't, doesn't look like no. it goes. But there's a little bit of space between there. You might be able to make it. Yeah, I, I, I would I, give it a go. I do think the extra <coughs> competition. He's not going for it now. No. He's playing safe with ball in hand. He's going for a three foul. Because he's he got the free foul off the break. So right. now he just this one and one more if he can get it. And it's actually it's, it's a simple one one rail kick, but easy to make, easy to miss. Sure. But see, this is the, he plays he plays the distinct style. I actually, the last match I played him in Phoenix, he three fouled me on one game. That's probably the second time in my life I've been three fouled. <laughs> and if he doesn't hit this one, Rick's got so many safety options. Oh yes, options. That, that's that's just why this, 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 this could be does. the game he right here. Well. Yeah. And he plays real simple yeah. safeties. But he should hit this. Nice hit. He should hit this. Well, now he's off the three foul. Now he's got to play. No freebies. Right. He likes these little rinky dink wins. That's what I call them. It's, you know, it's a feather in your cap when you three foul somebody. I think it takes as much talent to do that as it does to run the rack. Yeah, and I think it, I think it deflates your opponent. You know when. If you break and run against me, mm -hmm. good job, you broke and ran. Mm -hmm. If you give me three opportunities to hit a ball and I can't in three shots in a row, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's even worse. It, it could play with him, especially if you get it done a couple times in the same match. Yeah. It could demoralize your opponent. He's going. He's cut in the side. No, he's just going to play safe again. Nice speed for the safety. Yeah. Yep. Rick plays good safeties, but he's good. He'll hit the short rail up top, come right at the eight, at the one. It's a big ball. It's a big ball. That ball is about eight inches big. Yeah, it's close he's got all that rail. rail. Yeah, it's right. close enough on the rail yeah. and, and far enough off the rail to, to add another two balls to it. He's jumping. Uh, there's no reason to jump this ball. Did he That's make the eight? Jump that he made the eight. No reward. Yeah, there's a reward. He didn't give a ball in hand. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. I'll buy that. And he's got a nice safety behind the five, five nine, or the four nine here. Or he can run. No, he can't run down because the six ball's in the way. Right. If he's not careful, he'll make it off that ball. Well, one, two. Thank you, sir. I think he's banking it. He was trying to play safe, but what was that? 
Well, that wasn't the way to play safe. The way to play safe was just put a little bit of right-hand English on the ball and come straight one rail across to it. To the, to the Three or side. four times now he's yeah. had a shot that I thought he overhit. I was watching him practice. He likes to stroke the ball. He likes yeah. to really stroke the ball. I don't think Rick's going to like this. Uh, Looks like he might have got part of the ball, but not all of the ball. He just Even needs part of the ball it. to make it. Three balls, no shape. Right. Yeah. What's he going to do there? He's got a nice rail first shot if he can play it. That might be his best option. He got there. He got there perfect. That's what he's going to do with it. Pocket. Nice. How's that for stroking the ball? Yeah. Well, he likes to let his stroke out. Yes. So that was right up his alley. He's got a 4-9 combo after this. You like the combo? I would definitely play it. Does it go? Does the four doesn't go by? Does it? Well, I guess it does. Ouch. Well, let's see how what Rick thinks of the combo. A little jacked up on the five. Mm-hmm. But he wants to hit it with outside anyway. He probably does just he just wants to make it. There's no reason. You just make the ball. Being up there is not gonna help you. If he just made the ball and left the cue ball down on the bottom, he still have the combo. He got safe. He got safe. Left the kick shot. I think it's the pool gods trying to make up for earlier. <laughs> What the balancing the rolls. How did he miss that three ball? He tried to bank it. And it went back really? and forth. Uh -huh. No, uh, Jesse missed the bank. Rick was just oh, had to make well, the three. Right. That's right, that's right. No, he went two rails. He didn't cut it. Enough. Let's see if he hits this. He'll just hit the center dime. No English. Well, did fire he, two. Did he miss that because he hit it so hard? Probably. Close the angle on him? Looks like it. Looked like it. And again, that was, you know, like you said, it was a fairly elementary kick. It, it is, but, you know, remember your, the speed makes a difference. Right. Uh, he's afraid of hitting the six ball, so he's going to have a tendency of hitting it shorter so he doesn't go too wide and hit the six. My thought is, if you're Rick and you've watched your opponent miss a couple of kicks that you think they should have made, play more saves, right? Yeah. And you're thinking, oh, this is this is going to play right yep. into my wheelhouse. That's probably he's probably already seen that, so that's why he's been he went for the three foul the last game, you know. You, but you got a you got a cheap safety there because he didn't play it, so he missed well. Yeah. <clears throat> But looks too like far he'll, here. Yeah, he's okay. He's gonna have to go up and back. Don't be shy. I, I would come back. I would come back. A little bit. Center of the table. He's good. Now, see those those shots are the kind that'll break your heart if you miss them. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we've all missed them. Oh yes. That's why. That's why I said that. I, when I said he's good, I didn't mean he's good to make the ball. I meant he's got good position. Now right. it's up to him to finish it. So we're all tied up at two in a race day. Yeah, still way early in the match. Diamond Pool Tour. What stop is this? Stop number stop three. three. Yep. We were at... We started late. Bull shooters, and we were at Skip and Jans. We did, we, and, and that was my fault. What happened? I, I couldn't make the last event. I forgot what it was that I didn't make it. I forgot what I, why I didn't go up to Skip and Jans. It must have been something important. Well, you have to understand that with me, uh, the weekends have gotten tough to, tough to schedule now. Um, uh, some of the, uh, the honeydews keep, it, keep you tied <laughs> up. <laughs> um, oh, I had my... my um, what was when? When was Skip and Jans? Um, was it the, is the weekend prior to the Fourth of July? I believe so. Okay, yeah. that I had a family reunion. Okay, yeah. all right. 
that's I'll what buy it was. That. I, I knew there was a reason I didn't make it. And my kids were down uh, down here in Tucson. Uh, met family I'd never met before. How'd you do From that? way back. Well, oh, we, okay. you know, Facebook does a lot of things, and um, some of the family tree was was uh, expanded and looked up, and all kinds of people that we've never met before that you know we weren't we knew we were related but uh, we came to find out exactly how and it was a branch of the family from many 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 years ago our great great grandfathers and so it worked out pretty nice we had about 150 people there wow nice weekend where do you guys do something like that my brother has a house it's not too far from here actually and he's got uh, he's got huge grounds he's got probably about four acres and uh, uh, it's set up really, really nice. We had volleyball, soccer, <laughs> uh, bar- all-day barbecue, had jumping castles. Uh, had a real good time. A real good time. So Rick got a huge Rick's got a shot of the one. two. Yeah, he's got a shot of the two ball, too. How about go ahead and play this nine ball? I'd make the two ball right at it. What are you doing with the cue ball? Try to use those those three balls of seven, five, four, and and, uh, and three to get behind. But see, he plays real safe. He doesn't he doesn't take any chances. I'm I like I like his style of play. I actually like it. Uh, uh, well, and Jesse's going to have to show him something mm-hmm. for him to stop doing it. That's right. You know, if your opponent plays you safe four or five times and you contact the ball every time, then they'll think, all right, well, that's not going to work for me. Mm-hmm. See, he, he just figures he'll he'll make a hit, but he won't make the ball. That's how Rick's figuring. Ooh, that was close. Mm-hmm. Now, do you stun this ball and play the three ball in the right-hand side pocket right where he's at? That's what I would do. He's not doing that. He's playing the nine. See, Rick has no interest in running the balls. He's just nine. He's playing nine ball. He's trying to make the nine ball. <laughs> right. And really, I'm. What are there? Maybe two or three players in this tournament. I mean, it's a 625 cutoff. I mean, you've got to really be 600 or so to to play some decent runouts. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. To I agree with to, that. To yeah. make Rick pay for that approach. And there's a few guys that'll do it here. Oh, Tommy will. Tommy will, uh, Mike Hammond will. That as, that as I look around the room, um, who else is uh, can get out? Well, you'd be surprised. Some of the, some of these uh, this little Dakota kid plays pretty good for uh, for being under 500. I, yeah, I played with, I played with him. I played with him in a Scotch doubles tournament. And I think we came in second. And he, he did a good, good, good job. Pretty solid. I mean, he didn't run out balls, but he could work off my position. And that's saying a lot because I played bad <laughs> position. <laughs> Rick didn't want to be this straight. No. If Rick played too fast. He can cheat this pocket. He can cheat it and still get an angle. Draw it down the rail. Or that's, just spin the heck out of it. They got him there. Yeah, it did. He played in the side. Are you when in doubt, blast out. <laughs> I'll have to keep that in mind. There you go. And he's got a decent shot on the seven ball. Yeah, he makes the seven, he's out. Yeah, because the cue ball goes right over. Just gotta, you just got to keep from scratching on the side. And he did. Same shot. A little funny on it, but I think he's A little bit fine. of a back cut. It's all right. a small back cut. Some players have a lot of problems with these little back cuts. I do. Rick apparently does not. No, he doesn't. Not with that one. What's the secret to that shot? Um, I don't know. I have problems with it. Yeah? <laughs> no, I don't. I usually don't. Uh, I, I guess you get out and look at it. I didn't think guys your level had fat. problems with certain shots. Uh, I have problems with anything that's not straight in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I believe that. Keep in mind, I always downplay my game because I have to. <laughs> 
the ones who can play, those who can't commentate? That's that's right. That's exactly right. I can still play, but not all the time. What I used to do all the time, I do it once in a while now. And not as often. Which allows players of my caliber to just beat the living heck out of me. Because <laughs> <laughs> they still they don't make the mistakes I make them. side of the rack. Yeah, I thought it was a foul. Yes, it He's was. calling it a foul. Good, good. That's something you don't see every day. That's what I was going to say, own foul. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's actually very good. Oh, I didn't see that. Sit here, it looked like he was. But he, he said he, he didn't think he hit the one ball. That's what Rick said. Okay. No. <clears throat> Even with that, though, this rack is kind of right up Rick's alley. Because he knows <laughs> he's going to come back to the table. Uh, he might not. Oh, Jesse can run this rack out with more power to him. He might not. Look, look how the balls are laying. The only tough is from the five to the six. Nice shot there. And, and, and from the four to the five gives him his angle to go to the six. Pretty nice. And from there, it's easy. I mean, it's pretty simple. He's straight in on the four. He's going to come over to the left. Taking notes. Just look at it. It, it. it lays nice. You're right. You know, each ball leads to the other. As long as you're on the right side, he's on the right side. He started out on the right side, he stayed there. I thought the same thing, no. safety on the two. He just drew back and got on it, did perfect. Lays nice. Now watch how easy, how nice it is to go from the six to the seven. Just comes off the rail a little bit, come over for the seven. The eight ball's in a great place. You're gonna follow this to the short rail and back? Yes. Is he straight in? Oh, he's, no, he's got, he's got an angle. It's a little angle. All he has to do is follow past the seven. Because the six ball's no, no no threat, and if he comes back out, he, he gets nice on the on the seven. Hey, Used a lot of spin. Nice. Yeah. Might have got him too good. Exactly. Well, he's he's not straight in, but he's very he's pretty straight in. He's going to have more of an angle than he wants on the seven. He, he is your classic nine ball player. What I used to define as a nine ball player. Draw the ball to everywhere you want to go. <laughs> that used to be the old, sty old style of nine ball. I like that he's taking his time here. You, you, mm -hmm. can't, you can't miss a ball you know, this far into the run. You can't no. give this rack to Rick. Uh -oh. Wow. Why didn't he come back with that? I don't understand why. He All they had to do was stop, and he's got a nice cut shot, and he goes two rails for shape on the nine. This is the hardest shot he's had. And Ricky don't like this shot. I know this ball's makeable, but I don't love it. No, it's not an easy shot to make because you're against a rail. Anytime you, you're hitting just the top part of the cue ball, it doesn't react the same. You hit it fat. That's exactly yeah. what most players will do on that, me included. You have to, you have to, you have to remind yourself to cut the ball. I think we're about to be 3-3. Three, three. He's drawing. He aims better when he draws. That's, that's, that's why I said okay. he's, your, he's, your, he's your classic nine ball player. You draw everything. And he definitely likes to stroke a ball. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was watching him practice, and, and uh, that's exactly what I saw. He had a draw stroke or draw English. He just aims better down there. He's more comfortable aiming the ball there. And we're tied at three. 
Place. Rick Schmidt. Well, they have it on, they have it, I was going to say it was Rick Schmidt and Jesse Johnson, but you have it on the scoreboard there. Yeah. <laughs> So you you've got a pretty nice camera, so you have some pretty decent HD. What what settings yeah. are you using? Um, this is the one that Lenny recommended. Oh, okay, okay. Lenny's really come up on his on his streaming. I really applaud him. Oh yeah, he's doing a great job with it. <laughs> yeah, now he's not even doing it so much. Well, right now he's working. <laughs> Yeah. He's working. He's day manager at the at the ice house. Well, look at this nine ball now. Ooh, I'm gonna have to look on that in just a second. Let's look and see how wide just, that is. He just glanced at it. It'll throw in, even if he can't. Well, he's in, never mind. It's not going too far. He's gonna, if he touches it, it's off. It's gone. Goodbye. Yeah. That ball would have thrown in. Oh, yeah. It was aimed at the corner, so. And again, he overstroked a ball. Imagine that. <laughs> Got to play safe. He, he was did. really trying to make that three. No, I think he was trying to get behind the six. Especially from his body language after, after he didn't get behind the six. Tricky Ricky makes a good shot. Yeah, he did. And gets shaped. Where are you going on this five ball? Are you going to try to run into it? I come straight up. Actually, it goes to the other side pocket, so I might draw oh. out a little bit. He, he, just, he, he just bumped it. It's probably easier. It laid nice for that, so he just bumped it. If he, can get Somebody, from, if he can get the right line on the six and not scratch. And not scratch. Like that. Oof. He got two straight. Yeah, he did. He got two straight. He's got no angle. He's got to settle for the shot. I'd go ahead and play it to the just off the rail, off the side rail. Come to the side rail and just uh, try to get straight on the seven from up here. Uh, see, he's, that's too hard of a shot. If he gets to the side rail, it's a much, much, much easier shot. It takes the scratch out of play. He could scratch off the seven here, going to the corner. And he's got to worry about overrunning <laughs> his shape. Mm, no, no, because no, I don't think he'll hit it that hard. He wants to stay down there for the eight. Too hard. He played oh, he's safe. Playing safe. And he's going to get it too, right Real behind nice the nine. One, yeah. Right behind the nine. Look at this. Take that. That was well done. That's why he didn't try to get to the side rail. He didn't. He had no intentions of playing the ball. shots. These, these, uh, with these two guys, this is actually uh, leave a low percentage shot and you're probably, you're probably going to try to make it. Where's the seven ball going to line mm -hmm. Just past the nine. Well, he's got the speed of the table down. That's for damn mm -hmm. sure. Rail to rail, length of the table. Yeah. See where he goes here. I don't think he can bank it where he's at. Um, it's too hard a shot to the other corner pocket, so he's got to find a way to play safe. See what he considers safe. He went for the cut. He got there. He's, got, he's behind the eight. Lined them all up on the same rail. Can he go under the eight? Yeah. He might be able to. Looks like he's going rail first here under the eight. But should hit the ball. Uh -oh. No guarantees as to what's going to happen to it, but hit the ball. All right, that's supposed to losing the game. Well, sure, because if, if you're going to have a bank shot, that's the bank shot you want to have. <laughs> Pretty much a natural center English, just cross the ball, it should come right back into the hole, and you'll have shape on you. A little high? Got yeah, safe. High. Yep, two way shot. Straight kick. Got to make sure he doesn't scratch on the side. Like that, you mean? Just like that. 
I think but he jinxed so him. Easy. I think he jinxed him. <laughs> that scratch happened That's so, so big. Often. That's such a big ball. As long as you hit the bottom side of the ball, it's a scratch. You have to hit the top side. You have to be close to hitting where you want to hit. He yeah. missed it by half a ball. The number of times I've tried to adjust and said, <laughs> you know, don't don't hit the side, and then I miss it all together. You know, I wonder how much your mind actually, your subconscious picks up on that because you sit there and you say to yourself, don't do this. But then you don't make the adjustments. You just say that to yourself. And so does the mind hear this, and that's all it hears? It doesn't hear the don't do? Because how many times does that happen? Where you, you say to yourself, don't do this, and that's exactly what you do. Well, I mean, we all know if, if you get up and, and start telling yourself, don't miss the ball, don't, you know, that's when you're right. going to do it. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It just how much does your mind come into play? The subconscious hears... Uh, what you you're, what you've repeated two or three times, it doesn't hear the don't do part. All right, well, we've gone back and forth so far. I'm nobody's had a two-rack lead. It's 4-3 yeah. Jesse now. And basically nobody's really won a game. They've kind of uh, yeah. finished it off. Right. You know, it's funny because there's a lot of games at this level, you know, around the five-something level, I would say a lot of guys run six, seven balls, then miss an easy shot or miss a shot, and the opponent's able to convert. Or they miss the nine, and the opponent's able to convert for the win. So they're not really winning their games. The other guy is losing the game. I wonder just how much that happens, 60%, 70%, 80% of the At time? At this level, yeah. 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 yeah, they're definitely not running racks. Exactly. So, you know, it, it kind of makes you feel uh, like, you know, I didn't really lose that. I mean, he didn't really win that match. I lost that match. So, and you do hear that a lot from, uh, from a lot of players. Yeah. I left them two ball outs all day long. I recommend not doing that. <laughs> focus on the last two as well as you focused on the first seven. How easy is it to do that? To Happens lose your focus. Time. Well, you, well, you think you're there. Yeah. You think you're there. And I you got past out. the hardest mm -hmm. part. Yep. I'm there, and that's exactly when you miss. As soon as you think you're there, as soon as you think, that's when you miss. Hit that ball nice. <clears throat> Hit that ball with a little bit of uh, intentionality. Hmm. Is that word. a word? That's a new intention word. Intentionality. Uh, with a new president in office, I'm going to make up new words. There's all <laughs> kinds of new words being made up with a new president in office. I know. That's why I said He hit that ball bigly. Hit <laughs> bigly. <laughs> um, he doesn't want to be straight in. He, he's not. He's, he's got enough angle to run it forward two rails. Well, I mean, but he'll come down by the side pocket, I think. No, it might come down yeah. further. I was taking notes all night long. He is yeah, comfortable he did with his stroke. Well. Yeah, he, he did. liked it. Wow. Hit that very well. <laughs> Same shot. Same shot to play the eight ball right where he's at. Perfect. And just come close to the corner pocket and play the nine ball. Caddy corner to this corner. Too hard? Yeah, it was. Now, do you bank this, or do you play it in the side and leave the cue ball on the head rail? Well, I'm well, foolish enough that I'd try to bank it. I think the bank's a better shot of the two. But think of this. If he plays it in the side and he misses it, it probably goes over to the other corner pocket, to the corner pocket uh, cross, cross corner. If he banks it uh, and leaves the cue ball, holds the cue ball, he got the two railer out of it. He got the second chance bank. Okay. Well, I guess that was something to think about too. Yeah, there's that possibility. It's a bigger pocket. That's an eight inch pocket. <laughs> four and a half and four and a half on the other side. I like it. <laughs> so think, just think of that. That cross rail is an eight inch pocket. Because <laughs> it can always go across. I think he made a little bit of a statement there in that rack. Yeah. That was a break and run, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, he, yeah. he broke mm -hmm. and, and made a mm -hmm. ball, which mm -hmm. we haven't seen a lot of. Your opponent can't play you safe if they can't get out of the chair. Nope. That's the best place to keep an opponent in the chair. Made another ball in the break. Made the one ball on the side. Looks like he's playing it there, so. Yeah, I think he's hooked. If he happens to hit the two ball from the head rail, coming from the head rail, he might make that five. Oh, Probably yeah. will make the five. And that's the shot if he can get to it. He can either spin between the three and the nine. No, it's that's tight. That's real tight. Best way to shoot this is two rails. Go to the head rail, the side rail. Oh, he's just going to push. Yeah. If he pushes, he's not going to like it. Not where he looked like he was going to push to the side there. He looks like he wants to kick it one rail. He's not kicking that way. No, he's, he's, he's pushing. I'm going to hit this two ball real thin and try to go two rails behind the 6-9. So you're taking the shot? Not, no, plain safe. But I'm going to put, try to put my cue ball behind balls, where he didn't. He tried to put the two ball behind balls. Well, when they say you got to control one of them. Well, it's yeah. much easier to control the cue ball than the object ball, I think. Because you can spin your cue ball to where you want it to go. You can't spin the object ball. Now, this is a nice safety. Oh, I didn't see you could get that side of it. He can, but... No he hit the ball, he hit the rail first before the ball. Well, these balls lie pretty nice for a, lay pretty nice for a safety, for a, for a run out. For a run, for yeah. Safety. <laughs> if, for a run out, yeah. Yeah, if he plays like he did the last round. Yep. And he ran that other rack out that laid similar to this, remember? Yeah, yeah he ran that out. Or did he get out of line on the last ball? Yeah, he got out of line on okay. the last ball. Yeah. Follow this. I'd follow this. He could have followed that two rail, just one rail straight down. He'd be over here on the left side, shooting the ball on the side and coming over for the five. No problem. Yeah, when you're stroking him well. Got off the straight here. Yeah, he's coming back. He, he likes that draw stroke. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I can almost bet he's going to come past the seven, and he did. <laughs> <laughs> there's one thing about drawing the ball. There's one thing about drawing the ball where you want it to. Right. There's a, actually, there's a, a I, I always go back to that 60-minute workout by Burt Kenister, because mm -hmm. he uses the draw stroke, and he has you draw a ball from the second, the middle diamond and the middle diamond on the long rail, and he has you draw the cue ball straight back to as close as you can possibly get to the head rail without hitting it. And that teaches you the draw stroke where you can't scratch. And it gives you a little bit of control. And when you're practicing doing drills like that, I think it's very helpful and very beneficial. So that you can draw back three feet, four feet, instead of drawing it back seven feet and eight feet when you only want to draw it back a foot. That's not a name that many of the younger fans will be familiar with. No, in fact, I, I, I have that, that uh, VHS tape. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever, was he around long enough to make DVDs? I yeah. don't think so. I don't think so. But he has one of the best, uh, on, he, does all his, he does all his instruction on the bar table, or on the seven foot tables. And if you just move it over to the nine foot tables, it's great instruction, it really is. Nice. I think he got there. Yeah. Nice. Well done. Yeah. Line the ball with that. See, these aren't these aren't hard balls to hit, but since he kicks to the ball and not to the side of a ball, it makes a big difference. Well, you can hit it. Go for the bank. It's not going to pay off. 
This is similar to the shot that Rick just had that he missed. Trying to do too much. He kind of jerks up off the shot sometimes. Well, he jumps halfway through his shot. Just yeah. watch him on most of these shots. Just watch his head here. Can you see his head? Just watch his cap. I bet his cap comes out of the... There, see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I bet it comes out of the screen. But he made it. Yeah, he did. But he jumps on every shot. He comes right up with a stroke. He didn't move no. there. He didn't move there at all. Wow. He stayed down on that ball. Oh, are we at six? In we a race to eight? Six, three. They were neck and neck there for a while, and then all of a sudden, he's jumped out to three games in a row. Jesse, uh, Jesse upped, upped his game a little bit, and Rick didn't. Well, it didn't really... He didn't really not up his game. He just uh, failed on that last shot. Followed it right in. He was trying to hit the rail and spin up. Now is Rick going to sit in a chair and beat himself up over something like that? No, he's over there laughing, shaking his head. Oh, okay. Looking at us because we're talking. He knows we're talking about him. <laughs> so he's over there laughing. So Rick, when you watch this on on, on, on the rerun, <laughs> you followed it to the wrong place. <laughs> and when you've got that shot, you think there's no way I can follow this ball into the hole. I'm not straight in. But he, he had a lot of spin on the ball, which tells me that he didn't anticipate the throw of the ball. You know, the how, how the how the cube, the deflection. Excuse me, not right. the throw, the deflection. Probably has a soft tip, uh, layer tip, more than likely, and it hung on the ball because he stayed with it. Nice shot there. Did he get far enough? Uh, Carom. Yeah. A little bit of your shot. You can play the three ball and the nine ball. Just like that? Mm -hmm. I think Rick was ahead 3-2 here. Mm -hmm. That's four games in a row, five games in a row. Yeah. So now you're going to be up in Vegas commentating for how long? Two weeks. Oof. Now you're not. You know, they don't have you commentate straight through the day. It's usually now you're working it. There's, Jay's working. Uh, there's three. There'll be three commentators uh, like there was last year. Jay's not going to be there this year. Oh. Um, Kenny. Uh, Bobby Cotton. Uh, Robert okay. LeBlanc. Okay. That's the first time I get to work with him. I've been looking forward to that. Uh, in fact, Ozzy thought we'd be a good uh, a good pair. Um, and. Um, but Jay, I think Jay has, I heard Jay doing some commentary uh, over the weekend, uh, and he says he has to stay close to home because I guess his fiance is coming over from the Philippines, oh, so he's, he's trying to get her over here and uh, he doesn't really, can't commit a two-week period to, to commentate. But, um, so th there's three of us, and what happens is there's usually five matches, and three of us work in them. So somebody will commentate all five matches, somebody, and the other two will only do four, is the way it usually works out. Uh, so that's how it worked out last year. All five matches of a, in a day? In a day, correct. Oof. And um, uh, that way we cover all of them. But then we alternate every day. So the, the next day, one guy, uh, one guy does the five, and a different guy does the five, and the next day, the other guy does the five. So we alternate the, the, the workload. Works out pretty good. It'll be, it'll be nice working with a new face. And Freddie, of course, uh, will be there. Freddie Agnier, Robert yeah. LeBlanc, and myself. Okay. We'll be doing the commentary. Now, who was it last year? It was Jay? It was you? Jay, Freddie, Agnier, and myself. Okay. We may be done here. Yep. He's going to come around three rails for this position here. Oh, he, well, that's another way of doing it. He could have used the rail instead of the draw. Yeah. I don't care for that. He would have had a better angle, actually. 
He doesn't seem like he minds him. No. Well, like I said, he draws the wall for everything. Look what he's doing here. But, you know, the, the, the funny thing is, when he's used high English, he's used it well, effectively. So, he's, he's comfortable using both. But, no shots. Held it nice. Yeah. Held it nice. Six racks in a row. We are done. Good night, Mr. Schmidt. Now he'll go get a camera and start taking some pictures. <laughs> I'm going to find out what we're going to have for a next match here. So Thanks, guys. I don't think I'm going to stick around. I think I'm going to head home. Uh, I'll do one more match with you. Okay. And. Uh